Welcome to The Six, where you're always in the mix. Unbiased news for everyone. We're broadcasting live from Sunnybrook, where it's always bright and sunny. Unfortunately, this isn't the case in Shoal Lake 40, which is an indigenous reserve, where residents are getting water from a dirty lagoon. Due to the lack of clean water, basic necessities are not being met, which is leading to an exponential increase in suicide rates and mental health issues. So today we have a member from our team, currently at Shoal Lake 40, who is interviewing with a nine-year-old girl to get a glimpse of a life. Good morning, this. everyone. My name is Sam, and today I'm here at Shoal Lake 40. I've interviewed with many residents here, but there's one story that really stood out to me that I would like to share with you all. What is your name? My name is Marley, and I'm nine years old. What are some issues you've had to face due to water here on the reserve? I was in the hospital last week. I accidentally drank the water without it being boiled. The water here is gross and it's always brown. So this is a horrific issue. Children don't even have clean water to drink. Please donate on the website www.gofundme.showlake40. Back to you, Linda. Thank you, Sam, for an insightful look on the issues on Show Lake 40. So now on to recent drama starring Jordan Woods and Kylie Jenner. There have been accusations about basketball star Tristan Thompson's infidelity with his relationship with Khloe Kardashian. So Jordan was his last seen leaving Tristan's home at 7 a.m. We all know what that means. Although Kylie Jenner hasn't spoken about these recent revelations, she must be devastated as her best friend for over a decade, Jordan Woods, finally showed her true colors. So what does this mean for Chloe and Tristan and their seven-month daughter, True? See her reaction here. It has to be so public. I'm not just a TV show. Like, this is my life. My family was ruined! Lana! Let's all keep our prayers up for Chloe as we know she's been through a lot in the past year. Moving on to the upside of basketball, the Raptors have won their first ever finals game after a lot of hard work and dedication. Fans showed up from around the world, including Drake, who represents the city. By his professionalism, this has been an unreal day. We've seen everything from everyone. Sam here, and today I'm at the house of a very enthusiastic Raptors fan, especially Kyle Lowry. Hi. Hey. Thank you. So, how do you feel about the Raptors winning their first final game? Um, it feels great. I've been a Raptors fan for about eight years now, especially Kyle Lowry's. Too. So to just see him and his team finally paying off all the hard work and dedication, it's just, it's beautiful. It was our pleasure to inform you on some serious issues of the world, along with some celebrity drama and the most recent update of our native team, the Raptors. We're the six and we're glad to keep it in the mix today. Tune in tomorrow at 8 a.m. for tomorrow's news run.